Mike Tolman in today's press conference, he clears the air and says no. G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. This stuff frustrates me. It really, really does. Now we had Mike Tolman doing his press conference. Now I want to focus on this one subject because it's been the, the talk of the town around Matt Canada and his promotion. There never was a promotion, but we did see this tweet from Schultze that said the Steelers are moving on. Not, not moving on. Actually, some people want the Steelers to move on from Matt Canada. That just came out. The Steelers are moving uh, OC and Matt Canada to, to a more prominent role with Kenny Pickett, right? We heard that all week, all week. That's not too bad. That kind of just means he's working with Kenny Pickett as most OCs should do. What I find issue with, with this is, is media sites out there, YouTube sites out there, uh, the actual NFL media and Steelers media grabs this stuff and then turns the words around. They turned this one tweet to say that Matt Canada was getting promoted promoted. It's a big difference from saying a prominent role, which means an important role, than it is saying promotion. There is nothing to do here talking about a promotion. There is nothing saying from Mike Tomlin there's a promotion. Nothing at all. And it all comes back to, there's a few YouTube sites out there, one in particular, and I'm going to call you guys out because you do this all the time. It's constant drama, drama, drama. The viewers don't want drama. Do you know what the viewers want? The viewers want all Steelers talk. Now, you claim to be that, but you don't do it, right? I want to show you guys this. When this came out, we had our good mate, Noah Struckbarn, who runs all Steelers talk, who's, who, who works with Sports Illustrated. So he's a media guy. He's in the locker room. He does this and this, right? You're probably a good bloke. I've spoken to you a few times. But in, in, the, in the aspect of like YouTube land or Steelers fandom or Steelers channels, man, oh man, it does get very tiring, right? Now, in today's video, you had promotion. Steelers didn't promote Matt Canada, right? Do you know why they didn't promote Matt Canada? It's because you made it up. You write, you run down all the way down here uh, when it says breaking news. Breaking news two days ago, Steelers promote OC Matt Canada, right? You guys and media guys like you are the problem. And fans like me, I'm a fan. I'm not an analyst. I'm a bloke in his room talking Steelers. We get sick of it. We're over it, man. And I know we have to vote with our dollar, vote with our click, um, and there's clickbait titles and all those kind of things, right? And I won't do that here. You won't see me clickbait a title. You just won't see it. I'm here to talk Pittsburgh Steelers football and no drama. And also call people out when they need to be called out because the media is wrong for this one. So you look at your videos, you, you see this tweet, and Matt Cutter for a more prominent role to some bloke who tweeted as an NFL insider. Sure, you can run with that story. But don't change the story. You, you guys keep trying to change it. And what you did was, you said, breaking news, Matt, Matt Canada picture, breaking news, Steelers promote OC uh, Matt Canada. They didn't do anything. They didn't do anything of a sort. There was no promotion. Now, in a story that you guys ran as well, and, and, and Mike Tomlin uh, in the press conference today, you guys said this. There was, uh, this is via Sports Illustrated and also from uh, Mike Tomlin's press conference. The Pittsburgh Steelers made headlines prior to the week three matchup. Now, the headlines were created by you. you. You see a current theme here? The headlines were created by all Steelers talking, other media members like that, the guys in the room trying to make drama out of nothing. Sports is turning into drama, and I really don't like it. So Pittsburgh Steelers have made headlines prior to the week three matchup with Las Vegas Raiders for a promotion to the offensive coordinator, Matt Canada. According to the scores, Jordan Schulte, the Steelers moved uh, Canada to a more prominent role. In what, in what world, what universe does promotion and prominent role have a connection? Now, prominent means important, an important role. The OC, the offensive coordinator, is an important role, right? That works daily with the, with the quarterback, Kenny Pickett. Now, according to head coach Mike Tomlin, that's not true. And you have, to, you have to listen to Mike Tomlin. Stop listening to these guys that make up rumors, make up all the drama. Mike Tomlin said this. Tom was asked during week four press conference, which was today, if Canada has changed the role at all, whether he just whether he whether he adjusted how he'd be working with Pickett. The Steelers head coach swiftly said no. All this drama was to do with views and clicks. Now I understand I'm on YouTube too, and I, I'm meant to be uh, you know, building the fan base, building the community, but I'm not gonna do it that way. There's no way I'm gonna change a story and say that Matt Canada 
is near fired or he is fired or uh, the promotion means this. There was zero promotion. Then I did. I heard other things about that. Uh, that Mike Tom was getting in trouble for this too. That he was up to this. He was putting all these all these rumors, and he was behind this 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 idea or scheme, which made no sense. It simply was, and I'll keep it very short. It simply was. Steelers are moving. Steelers are moving OC McKenna to a more prominent role by a bloke called Schultz. Inside Schultz report, NFL insider, and then. All Steelers talk, ran with it. He absolutely ran with it, made it a big scene. Uh, breaking news, Steelers to promote Matt Canada. And how do you how do you even promote Matt Canada as offensive coordinator? Does he get promoted to head coach? Is he also the defensive coordinator? Is he special teams? What would he be? How would you promote an offensive coordinator? It makes no sense. So as the viewer, we need to do better. And also as the media members out there, stop creating the drama. We're sick of it. All we want to do is talk about our Steelers, and all Steelers talk has nothing to do with Steelers. All you guys do is grab something and create drama and just make it sound far-fetched all, all the way out to Wazoo land. It's insane. Anyways, guys, that's it for me today. I'm just, I'm just a bit fired up, a bit ramped up, and I'm just, it just makes me, look, I know I shouldn't, uh, I know I shouldn't react to this as, as much as I did, but it's, man, sometimes you got to call them out, and it is frustrating. One little tweet went crazy. The next minute, all Steelers talk ran with it, and then they got to they got to start to backtrack. And when they did backtrack, they had uh, when they did backtrack when they said breaking news promoted Canada has been promoted. They went all the way up here, and look at the difference. By the way, promotion Steelers didn't promote Matt Canada. Eight hundred and fifty six views. Here we go. Breaking news: Steelers promote Matt Canada. Twenty two thousand views. So what are you meant to do with that? They know what they're doing, man. The media does this to trick us to make us make us all drama. But they should just be talking about the Steelers and what is happening. Stop creating extra storylines. You don't need extra storylines. You've got Kenny Pickett second year. You've got Fryer Muth trying to be the best title he can be. You've got TJ Watt having a fantastic season, right? You've got other other storylines and, and, and players you can follow with even like, you know, talking about Najee and, and Warren and how can they fix the run or offensive line stuff. How can they fix the run? You've got storylines within the actual team. Stop making things up. It's crazy to me. All right, guys. I'll see you later.